Some galaxies in the first image provided by NASA from the Webb telescope resemble strings of stretched taffy. This is because the universe has affected our perception of the deep cosmos. Astronomers have directed the giant James Webb Space Telescope towards the SMAX 0723 Galaxy Cluster. Galaxies in particular are tremendously huge objects containing hundreds of billions of stars, millions of black holes, and maybe trillions of planets. The combined mass of these galaxies warps space in the same way as a bowling ball sitting on a mattress does. This twisted space acts as a lens through which we view the world. As a result, the light from the galaxies behind this galaxy cluster, seen by the Webb telescope, is warped. It's a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing, and Albert Einstein anticipated it more than a century ago. Some of the galaxies shown in Webb's first deep survey into the universe are enlarged, while others are severely stretched or deformed. They've been multiplied by the gravity of the cluster, precisely like Einstein predicted. NASA astrophysicist Jane Rigby said at the unveiling of Webb's first scientific photographs, the cluster of white-looking, ethereal galaxies in the picture above is 4.6 billion years old. They came into being about the same time as the Sun and the Earth. These white galaxies magnify and alter the background view. These more distant objects, which contain both red dots and oddly deformed galaxies, are among the universe's earliest. All of the incredibly dim, dark red little specks in this astonishing image as well as many of the brighter, weirdly shaped objects, are extremely distant galaxies that no human eye has ever seen before. The darkest objects in this Webb view are around 13.1 billion years old, and NASA says Webb will soon gaze much further back, over 13.5 billion years ago, just after the first stars and galaxies formed. To learn more about the James Webb Space Telescope, subscribe to the channel and check our previous videos. And if you love reading, you can visit our website www.nasaspacenews.com Thanks for watching.